On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch the storm, my peeps, we are going to kick off this evening, set a story with a list of criminal elements who is deemed wanted by the police so the first man on that list is this man presently on your screen a man identified as leon polkan yeah man no leon is wanted for your knockings and clappings with intent if you know his whereabouts please call the police this man frequents the hartford and paul island district in the parish of westmoreland now the next man on your screen is known as miguel tracy otherwise known as ears boss well ears boss definitely now listen and now understand the fact that the police need him for several crimes he may have been committed and he may be hiding in your community now if you know the whereabouts of miguel tracy ears boss do the necessaries and inform the squad of them yeah man the next man on that list is a man identified as karen douglas but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as stammer this brother is also wanted for knockings and clappings and also illegal possession of firearm and ammunition so help the police and do the necessaries help them find this criminal element here known as stammer now last but definitely not the least this man presently on your screen has been identified as jason Duncan, otherwise known as Teflon. Some people call him Bulby. This brother is a known knockis and clappis and is wanted by the police for several crimes committed. So anyone knowing the whereabouts of any one of these criminal elements, link the squad to them and give them the necessary information. And as always, if you don't trust the squad to them, link on the Spot News Media or any like-minded vlogger. Furnish us with that information and we will most definitely pass it on to the ones who can make effective change. So we are going to flick it on over there in western Jamaica where the parish of St. James and Hanover is definitely our centre of focus. As knockings and clappings seem to be the order of the day in those two parishes. Now a man who went to meet another man for a sale of a motor vehicle in the parish of St. James on Monday was taken out in a hail of bullets by criminal elements. The man in question has since been identified as 42-year-old Robert Harvey, a Juta Tours operator from Bog Hill in St. James. It is reported that Harvey made arrangements to meet with a man who was interested in buying a motor vehicle from him. Robert Harvey drove to Garden Crossing in Bog on Monday evening to meet with that man. Whilst at the location, a motor vehicle drove up with two men aboard. It is reported that both men exited the motor vehicle and opened fire, hitting Harvey all over his body. He was sitting inside his motor vehicle. He got canned up multiple times. The police were called into the scene and Harvey was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced. You know what? Summer peeps, trust me. I set them set up Miss Harvey and nyam him food and broke the plate in such a type of way. Some peeps trust no one like zero. No way 
in the parish of St. James, no safe. No matter how remote that community may be, take nothing at all for granted. We have seen in recent days where an upsurge of knockings and clappings continue right across the length and breadth of the parish of St. James. So we are going to continue to look into the knockings and clappings that has rocked the Salem community in the past few days. Now yesterday I did a vlog covering extensively giving you some of the main perpetrators of crimes committed in that particular community. I've spoke about an infamous character known as Tevin Larson, but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Brokan. Now I'm going to talk about another controversial figure who is playing a critical role in what is happening on the ground in the community of Salem. Now this controversial figure is definitely no stranger to on the spot news media. Definitely no stranger to my bay and no stranger to all communities right across the length and breadth of the parish of St. James. This controversial figure is presently on your screen who has since been identified as Andre Reed, but more popularly known in the streets in the criminal underworld that is as Little Zulus. Now, this brother here is a known knackis and clappis, definitely known for his evil ways and known for his bravery in taking on the security forces, not just once or twice, but several times, but somehow managed to stay alive through it all. One of his latest spit with the security forces is back in September of 2020 when him and a criminal accomplice went to take the life of a 24-year-old man identified as Raynor Anderson. Yeah man, the man them jump out of a car, pan the man and knock it and clap it. Who remember that incident there were going on a Friday in Catherine Hall? Yeah man. Now a police response team was in close proximity to that knockings and clappings that was carried out by little Zulus and challenged him and of course he put up a resistance and knock it and clap it back upon the squad of them whilst in a motor vehicle that crashed. However, he survived that confrontation with the security forces. He was, however, arrested with his criminal companion and both were sent to jail. He was eventually released on bail and was ordered to stay clear of the parish of St. James. So he is now currently somewhere in Kingston and St. Andrew at an undisclosed location. So he's staying from where he is to fight the war in Salem. So people may be wondering how little Zulus get tied up in a Salem war. Well, little Zulus, whilst in jail, his little brother was taken out by criminal elements said to be aligned to Crawford Street and Campbell's Lane criminal elements them. Hence the reason why the war started in Mount Salem. Now, Little Zulus is also aligned to the Ketan Lane gang, which is run by Brokan as one of the top knackis and clappies in that criminal organization. Now, there is other persons who is also involved in this war. So even though Little Zulus is not in Mount Salem presently, he's staying from his present location and helping and assisting in influencing the war presently in Mount Salem. So in yesterday morning's vlog, I made mention of one of the rivals for the Ketan Lane crew, the so-called 
KDF, the Ketan Lane Defense Force. I don't know who give them the criminal elements their authority. Them all dirty kind of boy their authority. But them name Ketan Lane Defense Force. But look for one or two. Poor me I tell you, the thing really rough out of John Shop there. So I spoke about their rival, a man known as Shartman. So for those who have not yet watched yesterday morning's vlog, please go over and watch that vlog as it has integral information that can give you a better understanding of this vlog presently. Now that controversial figure, their rival known as Shartman, has two main knackis and clappies. Right and now we are knock it and clap it. Billy as theme. Yeah man. So on your screen is another controversial and infamous figure known as Jolo. Now this brother here, a one a short man, right and knock his and clap his right now. Because the farmer man known as Butty is no longer among the land of the living. As he was taken out in a hail of bullets by other criminal elements, arch rivals, last Monday, along with another one of his cronies. Now, this brother known as Jolo has another little second where in program for do any farm and knockings and clappings from Jolo say, Who de? This brother ya answer to the call and run coming with them guns out, knocking and clapping. This brother is not from the Salem community. He hails from Flankers. He's known as Schema or Chippidan, another controversial figure in the ongoing gang war that rocks the community of Mount Salem. So people of Mount Salem and surrounding communities, who don't know the old fart them, who don't know the knackis and clappis them, it is up to you, the regular members of Chan Public, living in these war zones that continuously allow a handful of criminals to hold an entire community of law-abiding citizens as hostage to put a stop to it once and for all. Even if I your pitney, give him up to the police. If I your man, give him up to the police. If I your brother, your father, give them up to the police. I could have your uncle or your classmate who you love so much. Give them up to the police. Because it's either you give them up to the police or you put your life and your kids and your family members' life in imminent danger. These knackis and clappies is hellbent and continuously creating havoc in your communities. So again, my peeps, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.